Hey guys, Tenchi Effects here, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make a really sick looking background for your desktop. This isn't a background, this is actually made by Soak Designs. He um, made it for me, so shout out to him, link in the description. But uh, yeah, I haven't got a sample for you guys, so um, you pretty much just have to watch and uh, I'll show you how to do it. So for this, I'm using Cinema 40 R12 um, and Adobe Photoshop CS5. Um, this will be necessary to make it any other programs you don't really need. So um, I'm going to start off with the 3D text. So open up your Cinema 4D and um, we'll make the text. So go down to MoGraft, MoText. I'm just going to put mine in as Taint and uh, just rotate it then move it to the side. Um, I like categorizing my stuff, so I'm just going to put that as taint and um, go down to font once it loads. For some reason, it always takes long to load when I want to put a font in. So um, Now, I'm going to use the font Raise One Original. Um, you can download in the description, just install it. and It's in a zip file, so do that. And I um, uh, might actually use this one, so it's a bit thicker. So there's my thing if I render it out. This looks it's got looks pretty sick. Now why I click on taint, um I wanna make the horizontal spacing um let me just test trial this. Um let's make this horizontal spacing. Okay, so make it about a, a minus ten. Actually sorry, make that about a minus fifteen. Sorry, I'm just testing it out because I've I just mainly just do random numbers. So make that a minus 15 for horizontal spacing. And uh, there you go. Now, while you're highlighting taint, go, or whatever you call it, go control CV and that will duplicate the item. Now, what you want to do is um, while you're on taint 1, go depth and then go about 60. Now, what you want to do is um, just move that, move that back a little bit, just like so. So there you have it. So there's your text. Now hit Control N to make a new material. Double click on it. And uh, here's where, this is what you have to do. So when you're in color, change it to whatever color you want. I'm going to go for a nice little sky blue, bright sky blue. Make the texture Fresnel. Um, mix strength, about a 24 mix strength. Go down to Alpha. Leave leave alpha, alpha actually. Go down to specular, do the width to about 15, and the height to about um, 85. Okay, so now go. You want to go down to reflection, tick reflection, and put the brightness of the reflection. I like have I like to have it about 25. Now you can get out of that, and drag it on to taint. So render that out. There it is. Now you want to go while highlighting this mat, go file, shader, new guy. Diffuse A. And uh change the color to whatever you want. So I'm gonna go for a nice little dark, maybe even a violet. Now I'll go about it, I'll do a nice little dark blue. Now I'll pretty much duplicate it. Now drag that into taint one. So um if I render that out, it has like a little dark effect to it. So what you want to do now is um, hit your render settings for render. Output 1280 720 like usual. Um, I'm going to save save the file to um, your desktop or wherever you want to save it. So I'm just going to do this called as taint 123. Save the format as um, QuickTime PNG or just a PNG, but QuickTime PNG is better quality. Tick Alpha Channel so it doesn't have a background. Multipass, anti-aliasing, set geometry to best. Options leave so um, yeah, you might want to put effects, um, ambient inc occlusion, and uh, zoom it out a little bit. Line it up, and there you have it. So um, want to add in some lights um. I'm not going to do anything fancy because I don't want this to be too dragged out. Lights are fine for now, so I'm going to leave it about there so it kind of gives it a little bit of a shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. And um, 
Now I'll put this light about about there. So if I render it out, yeah. So you can pretty much see what it's going to look like. It's it's going to be pretty cool. So now just like I said before, place it where you want it. Now you want to hit um, Shift R, and that will start to render it out. I'll pause the video and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so once it's rendered, it should look like that or whatever colors you have and obviously the text won't say taint. So now you can just get out of that. Open your Adobe Photoshop. File. Open. And uh, open your 3D text. So uh, I forgot my desktop. Quickly find it. Here it is. So um, once it loads... Once it's loads, here you go. So um, here's the text that you're going to be using. Now I'm just going to go file, open, and uh, all the graphics will um be in the description for this. But uh, I'm going to cut this off right here, and I'm going to um hold you off till part two, and I'm going to upload it straight after. So if you're watching it now, just uh save it to your favorites. But uh, um yeah. So in the next episode, we're going to put all the stuff, mix it all together, and all. And uh, it'll look pretty sick, trust me. So, um, yeah, that concludes part um, one. See you guys later.